Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Recently, I've been building a bunch of homemade antennas for my satellite radio experiments. We've got the uh, pan tilt mount here. We've got some other antenna stuff I've done. And then I've gotten really cheap with a few videos, and I've done umbrellas coated in foil or emergency blankets. Now, one thing that people have asked frequently when I do stupid videos like that is, can you make a satellite dish out of a big cooking bowl or a wok or some other kitchen implement. Well, we have here a really big, kind of parabolic, kitchen mixing bowl. So let's see if we can turn this into a satellite antenna. So this thing's a little dusty and dirty. It's been sitting in a restaurant basement for decades and then here in my garage for another decade. So uh, that doesn't matter too much. What we really want to know for the purposes of an antenna are the dimensions. So we need the diameter, about 21 and a half inches by the depth, nine inches, and we can throw that into an online parabolic antenna calculator. All right, I could do the math myself, but that's what computers are for. So our parabolic focus calculator says that the focal point of this bowl is way down in here. It's like 3.6 inches. So this is not really an ideal antenna. Um, a real satellite dish would be much flatter. It'd be much more of a gentle, uh, parabolic curve. This thing is probably not a real parabolic curve. It does kind of make some interesting echoes though, so that's fun. So I kind of suspect this won't work very well, but that's what I thought about the umbrella dish, and that thing surprised me, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. As usual, we are going to try the NOAA GOES satellite geostationary operating environment, uh, the eastern one, because that's closer to me. I'm going to be using a software-defined radio, RTL-SDR, and the Nualec Sawbird GOES, the little filter unit that amplifies signals from that satellite. Now, I've also been buying a bunch of these printed circuit board antennas lately. They're uh, pretty interesting little gadgets. They just have different sort of antenna feed shapes on them. These are all linearly polarized directional antennas, so they basically uh, get a better signal in from one direction and only waves coming in uh, in one plane. So they won't work very well for a circularly polarized satellite like the uh, Polar Orbiting NOAA series, the Meteor series, uh, European MetOp, things like that, but they should work okay for linear polarization signal like the GOES satellite. Since I don't have super high hopes for this working long term, I'm not going to do any permanent modifications to the bowl. I could use this bowl for something else. If I go drilling holes in it, it's not really a bowl anymore, so uh, I'm just going to go as temporary as I can, as prototypey as I can. If it happens to work really well for a satellite dish somehow, maybe I'll modify it permanently, but again, that remains to be seen. You know we're doing a professional space-based satellite communication system when the finishing nails and random pieces of scrap wood come out. Don't forget the duct tape. You can't go to space without duct tape. Now this is not a sponsored review, but I have really been enjoying this T-Rex brand of duct tape. I've tried all the cheap ones and they just don't stick very well. This stuff really sticks. I really should have named this channel Crimes Against Antenna Theory, or maybe I can do a spin-off channel. So no luck with the log periodic feed. We could actually see the GOES satellite signal, but not strongly enough to decode it. So before we did give up completely, let's try some of these other PCB antennas. This setup is actually getting a stronger signal than the previous feed. This little feed got basically nothing. I got no signal with that thing. I'm not quite sure what this one's supposed to be, but it doesn't work as well with this application. Well, I got some very, very marginal results with this particular antenna feed, and we were actually able to decode a couple uh, weather text messages. We couldn't get any imagery off the GOES satellite with this bowl, so I don't think a big mixing bowl makes a very good satellite dish. It's really the wrong shape, the wrong geometry, and not a very efficient reflector for radio waves. This was a frequently asked uh, question in the comments, a frequent request that I do a satellite dish out of a big mixing bowl, so I tried it, didn't really work. I think we can probably set this one aside and say that this is not an effective satellite antenna. Stay tuned though, we've got other dumb stuff to try, we've got other uh, silly satellite dish experiments, so we'll see what we come up with next, and we'll continue trying household objects to see which ones can pick up signals from space. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.